The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Edu Tabi here, and today we're going to take a look at Python Patrol Cobra Copperhead, the leader of the Python Patrol from the Deke cartoon. So, excited to take a look at this guy. It came in the mail along with the Trouble Bubble. We've already done a review on the officer, so I'm going to take a look at it. I'm, I'm glad to get this guy. I know it's just a repaint, but he is the leader of the uh, Python Patrol, so we got to, you know, we got to we gotta roll with it. So, real quick before we get started with this. You're watching this. Go up there, hit that subscribe button. Help out the channel. I'm trying to get to 3,000. I need, a, as of day, 140 something. So, the last week or two has been really good. Keep doing it. If we can hit it by December 31st, it would be fantastic. I really would appreciate it. But this is number 96, Cobra Copperhead. And uh, as you know, I have a 3D printed uh, hydrofoil and uh, water moccasin. Not hydrofoil, water moccasin. I got. A variant of that, but uh, GI Joe right there. I will probably not do Python Patrol. <laughs> that thing, it's humongous. So, uh, but it's cool to have this guy. I just like the colorways in this guy. It, it looks good. Uh, Python Patrol there comes with the kind of standard things. Uh, we'll take a look at that number ninety six barcode on the side. The very tiny, tiny uh, emblems there that probably nobody cares about. We don't have a file card or a stand, but you know. I keep talking about it, so we're going to keep talking about it. 6.4 inches. There he is. See that? Points out the Python control and the belt buckle with the uh, skull on it. So, real quick, while I'm talking about it, uh, as announced, O-rings for Super 7 doing in 2024. Let me know in the comments. Are you picking those up? Uh, they're going to be kind of like what they're doing with the reaction stuff, which I don't collect any of that. But uh, O-rings, that depends on what it looks like. That, uh, that may be something to check out. I don't know, but yeah, this is Copperhead. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. That art is pretty nice, that, that yellow. Just got a heck of a scope on that revolver, don't I? But, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, let's open it up, take a look at the figure. All right, we got this. Let's the artwork inside the box. Uh, so far, all the Python Patrol have been using the cardboard ties. So oh, that's interesting. Uh, just packaging thing. Uh, and some of the other figures have had the plastic ties. So it seems like maybe Python Patrol is the last of the, the cardboard and switched to plastic. I don't know. So, got that. Cobra Copperhead, number 96. I know they don't point out Python Patrol or anything like that. Uh, so it's probably the same uh, as the one we got before, just with a different number. Look for that. We've got his accessories. So it's got this thing, which I thought very badly of the first time. Yeah, it's got a texture design. It's for his uh, big revolver. Uh, we've got some shells here. It does have a nice leathery look, but this is a terrible design there. But actually, you know, that one holds better than the original one I had. I'll be honest with you. Uh, it would never stay. And it's just staying right now. So, uh, well, there, it'll stay like that I don't know it tabs in a lot better so yeah, that's all guys machete and uh, it looks good looks like a machete should got some rust though on it uh, it looks like painted rust I guess that's what it's supposed to be not blood but uh, let's just go with rust silver paint looks good black plastic handle you know kind of flat no really design or anything like that we've got look at this pistol first uh, no port there for a blast effect. It's a it's a nine millimeter Luger, so uh, Copperhead goes old school right there. So looks pretty good. Well, it's not really. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a Luger. It's missing a few things, but it's a it's a pretty good approximation. Maybe it's like a Ruger, or something. But they it's it's similar. Uh, well, in the comics, the Doctor Venom used one of these. That's a guy we need to see in this line, Doctor Venom, right? Uh, and then this big old revolver. I don't know if this is 500 or big 44 or what it's supposed to be. Got big scope on there. It's painted gold, uh, which is kind of cool. Black handles. 
and no port there for blast effect either. So, got that. So that's these accessories. I think they look fine. I mean, you know, it, it's just a repaint, so you're not gonna really get anything different. Uh, let's bring in the star of the show, and here he is. And damn, he looks pretty good. I I, I like this colorway. I mean, this is this looks good. I can't I cannot complain. I mean, the uniform looks good. The green here. Uh, got the thing here for the Luger. Pretty sure we'll go in with not much trouble. It's really low on the leg, but we can slide that up if we want to, make that a little bit better. Uh, the black Python Patrol emblem looks really, really nice painted on it. Good job, very clean. I like the red here. He's got a little uh, maybe mini revolver pouch. Uh, we can slide his thing here, machete in, and rock it like that. Uh, we've got the gold skull. I think that looks fine. I really like the uniform, dude. The yellow uh, with the black and the red. So I'm, I like this one. I really do. I'm, I'm you know, I, I, sometimes the repaints are just like, eh, it's, it's okay. It's, I'm just getting it to fill out the line. But this is one of the ones I think that's, that stands out to me a little bit more. And he's the leader of the group. So, you, you know, you got to have a, a really good one. So let's see. Yeah. See the... The, the other thing about this is when you put a gun in here, uh, the peg won't stay because it's not, it's the gun's in the way, right? So why would you, I don't understand that thought process, but there it is again. So just not a, not a good design. I, I, I never liked this thing. I've never liked it. So I don't know what the thought process is, but yeah, we'll probably just go without it. Uh, I've heard some things about really loose ankles on this guy, and I am i don't see it. Not on mine, anyway. They feel pretty nice. Uh, figure feels good. Nothing really loose. It's got the standard butterfly. That feels good. Bicep rotation. Double. Oh, Jesus. Double elbow. Wrist rotation. He can look down really good on this guy, too. He can look up. Fairly decent as well. He's got the neck move around, all that stuff. What's going on? Where are you at, Scoop? All that good stuff. Waist rotation. He's got a really good ab crunch. That's this is all standard Joe stuff. Legs up to there, legs back out to the side, drop hips uh, like that. Thigh cut looks good with the green. It ties in pretty well. We got double knees. Uh, that was very nice right there out of the box. So that feels good. Boot rotation, and then like I said, ankle rocker, toe up and down, standard stuff. The, boat, the boots look really good. I think the color combinations make, you know, the, the one, the original one stood out to me as a kid because I had the vehicle and everything like that. I never had any of the Python Patrol stuff. That was a little bit past my time. Um, didn't have it. So, yeah. I don't know why he's just got a black band here on this arm, but uh, hey, whatever. Run it over to bicep and like that. So let me know. What do you think about the leader of the Python Patrol? Copperhead. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm glad to have it. Like I said, I, you know, this to me, out of the whole packaging is probably the worst thing. Uh, you know, it, it actually works better without the gun. You can tab it in and it'll stay. Well, maybe not. Okay. So stupid idea. Right. Yeah, I, it's just bad. I'd rather you not even have this, the strap and just left it, right? Because really, who's going to be fumbling with a strap with a big revolver on their back? Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, but, you know, sometimes a toy is just what it is, a toy. But there he is. Looks well, good. Let me know in the comments below. Are you picking up this guy? If you collect Python Patrol, feel like it's like a must purchase. Uh, we got the trouble bubble to come. Uh, Shockwave is finally going to ship. You know, I mentioned that, how they shipped me General Hulk instead of Shockwave in the box. So I canceled and reordered. Uh, so Shockwave is supposed to be your Saturday. And then, um, uh, Nunchuck, right? Nunchuck is supposed to be here next week. And then his tanks are shipping. We're going to get the, the 60th anniversary pre-orders up very soon. So all cool stuff coming. And we got Christmas. So exciting things to come. 
Thanks for watching the channel. If you're watching this, hit that subscribe button. Help out the channel. Let's go Cobra. All the cool stuff. And uh, help me get to 3,000. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.